welcome back. I hope uh, you had an enjoyable lunch and a coffee after that. And uh, my name is Devavrat Shah. I'm uh, one of the LITS faculty member. Uh, I've been here for now 15 years, uh, so it's been a while. Uh, I'm going to host, uh, be the, your host for the last session, Transitions, uh, uh, last but not the least. Now, uh, when John assigned me Transitions session, or at least to be the, uh, to be the clock keeper, so to speak, for the Transitions, I thought John used to be my friend. And, you know, he's still my great friend. <laughs> Uh, because, you know, uh, I looked at uh, the session that he assigned uh, to Sertak. He's got system, optimization, control. I mean, he could have left learning for me, but well. And then I look at Yuri, my next door office mate. Uh, you know, great guy, I love him, but he got communication, information theory, and even networks. I mean, networks he could have given me. TCP. <laughs> I had some history there, but no. Comes Caroline. Now I can't complain. I mean, you know, I mean, otherwise uh, she's really nice and she's really bright and all that stuff. But she got all of that data, inference, machine learning. And she being causal inference, she got causal inference too. And what I'm left with, transitions. <laughs> all right, so let's see. Then I say, okay, but John is a man of few words and a very wise man and a really nice guy and a great friend for me. So there must be something there. It's definitely not about moving to College of Computing. <laughs> It's definitely not about me moving my Nespresso machine 10 years back at Paths Ahead to a nice Jura machine now. Definitely not about that. So what is it about? So I'm going to make multiple attempts. Hopefully, I'll arrive at the right answer. If not, my 10 minutes will be up, and we'll move with the session. All right, so with that, first thing you do, especially when you're not a native, not a native trained English speaker, you go and look at Google. Not now dictionary, but Google, because it's a dictionary. It says, it's a process of changing from one state to another. It's a process of changing. It's not about destinations. Control, learning, they're destinations. <laughs> they're not journey. And really, transitions is about journey. It's like, this is what John does. And uh, he's thinking about journey. It's not about reaching top. It's about going from bottom to top. So definitely, it made me think about this movie. And in case you have watched it, don't watch it. <laughs> so definitely, that was a bad attempt to start with. All right, so let's, let's do something else. Uh, I said, aha. <laughs> I came here in 2005. That's when my interview was in Building 35. That's where I met uh, Bob and Sanjoy and all the luminaries. And uh, then sort of when I started, we were in Building 32. That was the transition. And then sort of I was talking to Ramesh in Jauri, who's uh, uh, one of the lead Zellum Stanford and a great friend, same age, uh, when he was in Stanford. And I said, well, why are they moving it? And he was explaining me this. <laughs> it's effectively. Uh, a world-class feedback control, robust control folks. I mean, really, really, really bright theorist. But the way it worked is the following. And let me explain this picture. This picture is very, very important, OK? So there was a heating, cooling system for entire building, entire building 35. Lids was, of course, on few floors. As far as the, and then that pipe carried hot water, cold water, that kind of stuff, right? And there was a, next to that, there was a thermostat. It must have looked like that. Honeywell, you know? And it was sitting next to it. So what would happen for lids? Well, it's winter, really, really cold outside. Hot water is going through the pipe. Sensor thinks it's really hot. Let's blow the air conditioning. <laughs> okay, it took a while for all these feedback control folks to figure that out, but then they eventually figured out and they moved. Okay, fine. <laughs> but then again, I thought, come on. I mean, yeah, I mean, that can't be the reason why John told me to do this. Let's try one more. All right, so they, he must have sort of forgotten uh, something about, uh, you know, he's a deep guy, so he must be thinking about lid style research. And lid style research, in my mind, is really, it's about translation. We are like a bebel fish. We try to train our students and ourselves like a to become a great bebel fish, right? It's like knowing English and translating from unknown language to English is a serious art and serious skill. Don't think of translators to be really not doing great things. OK, if you know English really well and if you be Shakespeare, great. But that's not necessarily what we are really trying to 
teach our students. That's not what we sort of try to necessarily teach our students in terms of when we think about uh, taking a probability class, like as you all know, 6041. There is a question of something happens in words, and then you convert it into Poisson process. There is no Poisson process in real life, but it's very useful. And so maybe it's about uh, that translation, not transition. And continuing, it's like you've got lots of applications, complicated, messy, convert them into nice, tidy, meaningful mathematical description. The language, uh, not this messy, this messy, and this tidy. I wish this was my desk, but it's not. But it was that tidy. And you know, uh, putting it other way, there's some unknown language, we can't reason about it. It's like too zoomed in picture. Let's zoom out a bit, get, get to bits, get to simple description. Just zoom out at the right uh, level, not too complicated, not too simple. Have your formal rules help you manipulate. Go from one state to another state within your now nice world and then go back, right? And hopefully by this, you've gotten 80% done. You will never get 100% done. If somebody's telling you 100% done, tell them you're bullshitting, right? We all know that. Uh, and while we do things on rule manipulation on left-hand side, we're really doing precise math to gain insights. And there's a value to getting epsilons and deltas right. There's also value to do math for the sake of math. You know, math is beautiful, and sometimes we all go, get carried away by that. We are all guilty of that sin, and it's OK. It's great. Uh, and if you are in that world, you want to get the details right to get from 80% to 100% so that you know, planes don't crash, as Manzer says. Uh, but then there are details that are mindless, as Bob says, too. And of course, it's about balance of both. So, but then I thought, well, this is too deep, not for me. And John understands that, so maybe it's about something else. Uh, maybe it's extracurricular. I mean, uh, he tried really, really hard uh, from 2008 to 2010 to convince me to take on climbing. And uh, I mean, he was so generous with his time and effort and help, but then I, pulled a sort of a wild card on him, and then sort of he left me. But then sort of I looked at the luminaries, luminaries that we are honoring. And you know, uh, there's a great story about uh, Lids having um, a soccer event where Sanjoy shows up. And if I remember correctly, it was late 80s, early 90s. And Sanjoy shows up in the morning, it was Saturday, and in a beautifully crisp white iron clothes, just like, you know, a, a uh, a, a good cricketer would show up in a British cricket club. <laughs> All right, well, that was well done. And then, as you heard from uh, our other luminary, uh, Alan, he's into tennis. I mean, he lost his tennis partner because of uh, Alpha Tech. But hey, you know what? He still likes tennis. We've all seen the beautiful pictures of uh, Dimitri. For example, one that I just uh, am in awe of is his uh, young granddaughter looking at this fish. And it's just a brilliant picture. Uh, and there are many others. And then Bob told us about all the games uh, Burlikam defeated him. <laughs> this is from. And uh, so, uh, Dave, and Dave, like dear to me in the sense, he was my squash partner for a long time. And he was not easy to defeat, OK? So don't take him lightly. <laughs> and uh, I can't accept that he defeated me, because that will be terrible on me, but that was true. OK, so maybe that was there, but maybe that's not what John wanted. So let's go back to the sort of the, who is the honorary of the session. It's Sanjoy. So let's think about Sanjoy. Well, Sanjoy, if I look at his uh, work, I mean, Started with control, and he will call himself control theorist. But if I look at uh, uh, at least a subsection of things I have looked at, I don't know what I would call him. Uh, someday he's a statistical physicist. Someday he's actually doing uh, complexity de-randomization. Someday he's doing a neuroscience, uh, communication, coding, optimization, and there are lots of things I've missed. So maybe it's about connections. Okay, maybe it's about connection, maybe about transitioning between things. Okay, and then sort of I think about Sanjoy himself and my uh, time with Sanjoy. You know, he's been uh, like every senior faculty member at Lids. They have been just immensely generous for me when I started at Lids. Since then, Sanjoy made a gesture, it's like for me, he decided to take on an appointment that he wouldn't have taken otherwise, and that was the reason why 
I joined. And since then, he's taught me how to order macchiato to thinking about what are the, what are the deep variational characterization that have played important role in my own personal research and so on and so forth. So Sanjay, thank you. Uh, Dimitri, uh, close to my office, and uh, you know, I, I was super excited when I found that brief propagation for max weight matching works really well, and then I go and tell Dimitri, and he says, very kindly, in a gentle, nice way, he says, maybe you want to look at auction algorithm, which turns out to be very related. But great. Uh, <laughs> Dave, uh, of course, he, he continued to beat me in squash um, and uh, has been uh, generous and uh, very um, uh, influential in my earlier years of my uh, stay at MIT because he used to run this Area 1 seminars. And he, in a nice way, gave me an opportunity to organize that and continued supporting that. So thank you for that, Dave. Uh, Bob, uh, we didn't get as much time to spend. But uh, the day of my interview, um, my callers were off. And he gently comes around and sort of sets it up. It's such a nice gesture. I mean, um, and uh, the puzzles I remember uh, bringing inverse Ackermann function, in case you don't know. It's a great function to think about. So that's Bob. And uh, Alan, well, I couldn't write paper with any of those four, but Alan, while uh, uh, in earlier days of my career, he was, uh, he was a force, the leading leads from, uh, fr as a leader. Uh, um, I used to attend his groupletts uh, in the afternoons. Uh, we wrote, wrote papers on belief propagation, max weight independence, et cetera, and uh, he's been just amazing, uh, both in terms of teaching what are the good wines and what are not. So thank you. And again, so I would like to say thank you all for being who you are. I mean, you just guys are amazing, and you'll get set bar so high. So we'll continue to try to strive towards that. <laughs> all right, I know my time is almost up. Uh, and so I think I've found the right meaning of transitions, because now I look at uh, the speakers and the panelists who are going to come around, they are spanning different intellectual fields, so to speak, but uh, coming with the same core. So maybe that's what uh, John wanted me to think about uh, this as a panel. And with that, sort of, here is how the panel is going to go. First, I'm going to introduce uh, Tom in a minute, in 10 seconds. And then sort of we'll hear from Sanjoy, uh, then plenary from Emilio. After that, there'll be a coffee break, and then we'll come back for a panel. And that'll be the end of the day. All right, so with that, uh, uh, let me take uh, 30 seconds introducing uh, Tom, Tom Richardson. So Tom Richardson uh, received his BSc and MSc in electrical engineering from Toronto, PhD from MIT in EECS under Sanjoy Mitter's um, uh, Supervision, he was a member of uh, Math Research Center at Bell Labs, uh, uh, left Bell Labs in 2002 uh, at the wireless start of Flareon, which, uh, where he was a, a chief scientist. And the VP, uh, Flareon got acquired by Qualcomm, and that's where he is. Now, those are the, his career trajectory, but uh, he has uh, written, among other things, a beautiful book on uh, coding theory, modern coding theory, uh, that I enjoyed reading it about. Uh, he has won a variety of awards, including IEEE Hamming Medal, uh, National Academy of Engineering, Koji Kobayashi, and the list goes on. And I think with that, I should stop. Thank you. All right. <laughs>